Hello everybody, it's Elena. This is a video response for the beautiful challenge named A Tag of Inspiration, hosted by the lovely Dawn Marie for reaching 100 subbies and she has more now, so congratulations Dawn Marie. She's a very sweet lady and she makes beautiful, really beautiful pieces of art. I decided to make my tag in a style I've never tried before because in the future I want to make a fabric book in that style. So I decided to give it a try and I'm pleased of how it turned out. So I made a gypsy tag. I built the tag with soft uh, white felt and covered the front with this gorgeous dark teal crushed velvet and uh, I printed the image of this beautiful gypsy lady on muslin and I've never done this before either so thanks so much Di uh, Diana for the tip and uh, I doubt you can see it on camera but in person you see that, that the lady around the top of her corset has something like an embroidery or a necklace and uh, I can see some colors here and there that's pink and teal and gold so I tried to match those colors and uh, after putting the image on I decided I wanted something to make the sides tidy and uh, I had this gorgeous trim, multicolored trim with pale colors but I didn't want it to show because it is quite wide so I put it on the back and uh, being careful to let just one part poke out like this so you see quite some like fibers like little loops all around the tag then uh, some parts of the well the majority the sorry most parts of the, the tag are sewn on, they're not glued. I took this piece of beautiful chiffon, it is such a bright color, I love it, twisted it and then I, I fastened it by sewing this, uh, this um, big pearl in the same uh, antique gold color and then I secured everything on the, um, on the tag by sewing them then I twisted again the piece and uh, I let it quite wide at the bottom then I tucked these two chains with embellishments under the bead and around the head of the lady you can see these gorgeous flowers all sequined and the golden leaves and they come from a gorgeous ribbon I cut into pieces and rearranged, rearranged in this way and uh, then I started from the bottom on the other from the bottom on the other side I added this crochet piece I made with a gold a golden thread then added in the center this bling flower and uh, I started making some beadwork here I choose um, glass beads and two jingles because I love them I love the noise and uh, I sewn them on in a group in a cluster and then they go up here and uh, sewing beads on something I've never done before it is the first time for that too so thanks so much Dawn because you gave me the opportunity of, of uh, trying it, trying something different then I tucked in a little piece of pink lace and uh, some greens in binding and this piece of, sh of uh, shabby fabric it, it is in a um, what it is a bright bronze here from a sort of a knot here to frame better the image and this is my tag and I do hope Dawn Marie likes it then I made four flowers to go with it one is a classic flower I gather some muslin 
and tucked a piece of a really pale pink organza, then added a crochet piece I made and this resin flower in the center and on the back there's some there's a felt circle. Then I tried to make and I like how it turned out this flower. It is the, um, the one you make with circles, you burn the edges and then you form the flower with all the petals and it is beautiful and I added some bling in the center, a bling piece in the center. Then I made a classic rolled rose using um, an ivory satin ribbon and I made a tall rose with satin too. It is emerald green and uh, I stuck two strands of pearls in the center and finished off with some again with some white felt and then we go to the card I want to spend some words on the card because it is made with what I keep calling the classic decoupage technique well not exactly that technique as a whole but part of it and if you are interested please let me know in the comment down below so I can make a video talking about this kind of thing I keep calling classic decoupage and uh, uh, show you something. So the card is this, I took a card ahead and I added two images of lovely witches playing with, um, they look like uh, soap bubbles or uh, glass spheres and uh, one is uh, on the ground, the other one is floating, going toward, towards her. And to make them and all the bubbles around, I've used this paper. This is one sheet of what it's called the proper decoupage paper. And uh, in this case, you fussy cut the images in down to the very tiny details. For example, you see the hand here and uh, the tip of her um, boots. So I cut two of them and uh, some bubbles and I glued them on this card. Well, I'll stop here for now. I don't go into explaining how proper decoupage is made and so on. That's for another vi video, like I said, if you're interested. And then I went uh, around the images using some inks by Tim Holtz in uh, pink, pale green, blue, and uh, a sort of, um, how can I call it? It's not purple but it's, it's not red either, so it is this color, uh, I don't remember the name, and then, like I said, some blue, so the center, the spine of the card is quite darker, and I went around, because this one is all um, in cold colors, so I went around with blue and green, this one is in, in, is in, sorry, in hot colors, so I went around with the pink and that other color and uh, I went around um, the bubbles too. I cut one bubble here to go around this part of the card. I did, I colored the background in the same way with a little uh, blender and uh, the same color I've used for the front part and I will add a message inside. So this is it for my challenge. I really hope Don Marie likes what I made for her. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye bye.